Tarrant County charts show a sharp uptick in the number of COVID patients in the county's hospitals. On June 1st, they had 172. On June 15th, it was 220. And today, there are 555 confirmed COVID positive patients. So it will be overwhelmed very soon if that keeps going. Dr. Rajesh Nandi is an epidemiology professor at the UNT Health Science Center. He's looked at data from Dallas, Collin, Denton, and Tarrant County, and he said the increase in activity and cases has him most concerned about Tarrant County. What's very important right now is to keep the new cases or keep the transmission at a manageable level so that our healthcare system is not overwhelmed. This is the good news. Right now, the hospital systems and the pre-hospital systems are holding our own. Matt Zavodsky with MedStar said they have not had any issues transporting patients because Fort Worth area hospitals are not full. The time that it takes us to discharge patients into the emergency room at any of our hospitals is about the same as it's always been. Um, and especially with some of the decontamination that the crews have to do at the hospital, um, it's not terribly longer than it normally is. But it is the trend that has all of these experts concerned. We do have capacity, but we're looking to the future. Steve Love is with the DFW Hospital Council. On June the 15th, we had 700 COVID-19 patients in North Texas in hospitals. Today, we've got over 1,600. So simply put, as we model out where we predict we could be, in two to three weeks, we could really be with a large hospitalization of COVID-19. That's why they are asking all of us to do our part. Wear a mask, practice physical distancing, wash your hands. In Fort Worth, I'm Alex Rozier. Hospitals in Dallas tell us they're running at about two thirds capacity with 64% of the beds currently occupied. It's a bit higher when you look at intensive care units with 69% of beds are being used. Right now, the hospitals are using about 36% of their available respirators or ventilators, I should say.